In this video, I want to have a look at expanding binomials. So binomial expansions are ones that involve two sets of brackets that have been multiplied together. So when we're expanding these, we need to multiply every term in the first bracket by every term in the second bracket. So let's have a look at what that looks like with an example. So if we had, say, x plus 2 and then x plus 3, and we wanted to expand that out. So we need to multiply the x by everything in here, and we need to multiply the 2 by everything in here as well. So let's draw these little things in to help us. So we'd go x times x would give us x squared. Then we can go x times 3 would give us 3x. So that's that x multiplied by everything in here. Now we need to do the same thing for the 2. So if we go 2 times x, that would give us 2x. And then 2 times 3 would give us 6. So our final answer then, we need to collect our like terms, which are the 3x and the 2x. So our final answer would be x squared plus 5x plus, oops, plus 6. All right, let's have a look at a second example. So if we had m minus 3, m minus 4. Okay, so we're going to go m times m would give us m squared. m times minus 4 would give us minus 4m. Then we've got minus 3 times m would give us minus 3m. And the last one is minus 3 times minus 4. Now, because we've got a negative times a negative, that's going to give us a positive. And 3 times 4 is 12. So we'll have a plus 12 on the end. So simplifying, we've got our like terms about minus 4m minus 3m. So that would leave us with m squared minus 7m plus 12. Our third example we've got is 2g plus 1 and h plus 4. So we'll go through and expand that out as well. If we go 2g times h, that would give us 2gh. Then we've got 2g times 4 would give us plus 8g. So we've got the 2 times 4 is 8, and then we've got that g on there as well. So that's that first term. Now we need to do the second one. 1 times h is just going to be h, and 1 times 4 will just give us 4. So then we have to look at this and see if we can simplify it. But we don't have any like terms there. We've got a gh term. We've got one that's just a g, one that's a h, and one that's just a number. So there's nothing more we can do with that one. Our last example is 3m plus 7 and 2m minus 4. So we expand it out. So we've got 2m times, sorry, 3m times 2m, which would give us the 3 times 2 is 6 and m times m is m squared. Then we've got our 3m times our minus 4. So 3 times minus 4 would give us minus 12, and we've got that m on there as well. So that's that first term. Now we need to do our 7. So 7 times 2m would give us 14m. And then 7 times minus 4 would give us minus 28. And then collect like terms, so we've got our minus 12m plus 14m, which would leave us with 2m in the middle there. So we've still got our 6m squared plus 2m minus 28. So there are a few examples of expanding binomials. 